Well, it's evening time. I'm at home, and I just wanted to tell you a few things. Um, I want to give you some proof that uh, I'm telling you the truth about all these things I tell you about the Zodiac Killer. We're going to start with interrogation, police interrogations, and we might go to something else. Uh, let's get with the interrogation thing. When the police interrogate somebody, and I've been watching a lot of their interrogations recently, people think, oh, they want to know the truth. They don't care about the truth. Oh, they they want to make sure the laws are upheld. They don't care about upholding the laws. How many cops get caught trafficking drugs and everything? They're concerned about one thing, and that's to get the defendant to admit that they did the crime. If they can do that and get him to a, a say more and more things about, it, you know, what parts of the crime they did and to admit it, it keeps them from having to do the work of going out and looking for evidence. Okay? So, that technique is used for people who, you know, don't get a lawyer. They just go in there and start talking. Now, the, the way they usually catch people and get them to admit to, to what they did or sometimes something they didn't do and they get them to admit to it and I don't know. But anyway, um, the, the, the biggest technique that they use is to ask a set of questions and then go in a circle and come back and ask them again. And when they hit the questions that have to do with the, the crime that was committed, they'll expound a little bit and see how the person reacts. Now, you know, of course, they're going to have their reaction like they're lying or they're going to get angry or whatever. But the biggest thing with it is that they will slip up because when you go back, they're lying to you. What they told you is they're lying. So when you go back and start asking the question again, they start forgetting what they said the first time, and they slip up. There must be a name for this. I don't know. Police interrogation techniques, but they and and and, and attorneys will use this in court too, a uh, cross examination type thing, uh, uh, deposition, interrogation. I don't know, but anyway, um, so this is how you can tell that my videos are I'm telling you my true life events and the reason is because if you I've got over a hundred videos and I'm starting to repeat videos right now and repeat and tell you things that I've told you before and if you go back and look at them you'll see that the story hasn't changed very much because I'm telling you about true life events. Yeah, it might not be in all, all the same detail, and I might have forgot something. I mean, it, these are things happened 50 years ago in some cases, and, it, and, and some of them were things that I shut out, but, you know, now that I've brought them back, the story stays the same. Every time I tell it, the story stays the same. And another thing I do is I try to uh, connect one video to the other so that you can see that I'm talking about the same issues a second time in another video, or at least to a small extent. Uh, more and more proof that uh, a police interrogation would say, you know what, the guy's got to be telling the truth because, you know, it tells, he, he tells the story the same way over and over and over. That's basically what it's about. If they don't, if the story starts changing even the least little bit, they'll go in there and add questions. And questions and questions and questions until the person gets so tense and so uptight about it, they, they give up, give in and tell the truth. Well, I'm telling you the truth, so I don't have to worry about giving in. And, you know, for those of you who don't believe me or want to play some other game and have your own sites out there where you're making money by just talking about this when you really weren't involved in it, all I got to say to you is... It's pretty easy for me to tell my story because I was there. This all happened to me. And bringing it back is, uh, you know, not that difficult. Now, I wanted to tell you about 
well, let's wait. Let's wait on this until later, maybe tomorrow.